Once you've powered down the computer, you'll first want to detach it from the keyboard base. Pushing this tab to the left while lifting the tablet away from the base should separate the two. The dock will then need to be folded in to safely perform the repair, though some force may be required. The base can then be flipped over to reveal five visible Phillips screws, which will need to be taken out. After these screws are removed, the rubber pads will need to be removed, as there are Phillips screws that need to be taken out underneath them. The bottom case can now be removed from the base. The easiest way to do this is by prying in between the palm wrist slash base and the bottom case with an opening tool, then swapping it out for a plastic tool of some sort. The tool can then be ran along the edges, unclipping the bottom from the base. Once it begins to come loose, the bottom case can then be removed completely. Once inside, there will be two Phillips screws anchoring the board of the HDMI port in place. These will need to be removed. Next there will be a strip of tape covering the clip that connects this board to the rest of the computer that can be removed before simply sliding the ribbon out of the board. With the new HDMI board in hand, the ribbon for it will need to be slid into the connector before laying the board into the base and reapplying the Phillips screws and tape. After the new port is secure, the bottom case can then be placed back onto the base and all edges can be clipped back in. The nine Phillips screws that we removed earlier can now be replaced, after which the rubber pads can be re-adhered. The dock on the base can be unfolded and the tablet can be placed back onto it, finishing the repair.